Mayor might ignore me. What? <laughs> We're going to go ahead and call the meeting to order. Well, maybe. I got a, I'm not Jim. Commissioner Patton, if you do the invitation. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Our gracious Lord and our Father in heaven, we pause us this evening, giving you praise and glory, to recognize that you as the creator of all things. We pray, Father, your blessings upon us that we enter into this meeting, bless us with wisdom, and keep us humble, that we might make the more correct decisions for the betterment of our community. We pray, Father, your blessings upon our country. We pray, Father, we ask you to heal our nation. So by strife and so division, may cooler head prevail, and may wisdom be the most forethought thing in people's minds. And may your name always be glorified. Go with us now, Father. Forgive us when we fail thee. In Christ's name, amen. amen. Okay, welcome everybody out tonight. We'll go ahead and get started. First item is approval of minutes. I make a motion to approve previous minutes. Second. We have a motion, a second, any further discussion? Those in favor signify by the aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Next item is the bills. We can pay all bills. Second. Whatever. Got a motion <laughs> second. Those in favor signify by the aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Not showing anything under old business, so we'll skip right under new business. And the first item is the water rate. Yeah, uh, talked to Walt Beasley a few weeks ago. Yeah, it actually his last day of work. Uh, their rate increase that went through BSC, and it will take effect uh, in February. So we'll have to have two readings on ours. Uh, the only th only increase that we've had, like I believe it was a 24% increase to the county. How much? 24%. Jeez, I knew the big one went from uh, went from 268 per thousand to 329 per thousand. So the you know, county put on a 24 percent increase. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's the one. I'm sure you put that in the paper. <laughs> we already have. About about I didn't 50, realize it was that high though. About 56,000 additional dollars that we're going to come up with a year. A year. Uh, the only rate structure that I, that I have, have worked on so far uh, is if we put the difference on everybody's first 2000 minimum bill, which to me, it, it raised the minimum bill roughly $2.90. So that would make, make the first 2000 go from $15.10 to what's that, $17? $17. Okay. Thank you. Okay. No, that's fine. I'm one of who's me. Uh, if if you want the rate structure broken down, where it's where it's you know in the next like, thousand gallons, you know it, it takes a little bit more deciphering for me to do. It go almost eighteen dollars, wouldn't it? It actually be eighteen dollars, not seventeen dollars. Yeah. Uh, and then then the out of town rate would go from twenty four dollars for the uh, first two thousand to uh, twenty six dollars and ninety cents. Like, oh, more than that, it's going up twenty four percent. Well, this this is the re recoup the fifty the fifty six thousand dollars a year. Okay. I mean, so we don't not all the water because we've got some water we get from the wells. Right. That's true. And if our, if our well ever gets in production, and you know, we're still waiting for state approval now, you know, after it gets in production, there may be a chance if it's going to produce the seventy eighty thousand gallon a day, ninety thousand gallon a day, we may be able to come back. And about that now. You know, all that's going to be doing is the wells going to be subsidizing the, the county water. So. And they're bumping up 24% effective February? February. 24%? How did they come up with that? I've got an email from them that they submitted to the uh, Public Service Commission, and Public Service Commission went through and, and took all their 
their uh, water loss, their, their uh, personnel costs, chemical costs, uh, every, everything associated with them, and that's where they're derived from. People need to be asking what some of those expenses are. What like personnel costs? Yeah. You'd be shocked. No. Yeah. Good place to work. So we need a motion to approve the 290. Is it 290? Is that what you said it was? It'd be two dollars and ninety cents more on the on the minimum for in town and downtown if if you want to recoup it off the minimum. That would be the easiest. That way, it would, it would leave all your it would leave all your other parameters the same. The next eight thousand gallon would be four seventy eight. Then the next ten thousand after that would be four seventy eight. The next thirty thousand would be four sixteen. I hate it on the minimum because that's primarily probably elderly folks. But we were lucky in a way that we do produce, uh, produce enough water on our own that it was only a two dollar a month. Yeah. That's but even if you do that, it'd be a little more spread out. It wouldn't be all too much on middle income people. But you'd have to raise that next level up a level higher. They could quite be quite more, more on up people. So you're kind of spreading it to every house that way. I see what you're doing. It's, it's probably. Play that out. I don't mean to use the word fair in that context. Equitable. Yes, it's the most equitable. Thank you, Carol. Is it the most fair? I mean, life's not fair. I realize that. It's not. <laughs> I realize that. But. Well, that's been put in a situation not quite fair, in my no. opinion. But. We don't have a choice, do we? We don't. We've got to raise it somewhere. And yeah, let's do the minimum of 290 on the on the minimum bills and straight for across the board. For in town and out of town? Yes. Well, wouldn't it be more for out of town, though? Well, we do, I based everything off the number of meters that we're servicing. So That's what you come up with? Them. Out of town's already paying higher than the other true. Meters, so. Just 290, 290 across the board? Then. Yeah. Well. Yeah, that's a motion. I'll make a motion. What do we say to do, right? <laughs> okay. I'll make a motion that we have a two nine two what well, two dollars and ninety cent rate increase on the minimum bills. Can we second? Second. Can we second <laughs> any further discussion? Those in favor signify with aye. Uh, aye. same. Motion passes. I didn't jump in soon enough, but if, I, if okay. the only discussion I, I would have asked is if we need to put a amend that to where that we can look at it, come back and look at it once we get a well in production. We can do that. We can do that anyway. We don't have to have an amendment okay. to it. Yeah. Okay. Water cutoffs. Now this one's going to get to be. Yes, I think we talked about January. Is going to start back doing the. They can. We can? Okay. I, I think what we, we had talked about doing with maybe the people that was owing a large bill working on some type of payment plan, three, six months. We have to do a minimum of six months okay. required by state. If they fail to pay one month up under. And this, the six months is in addition to their regular water bill. Yeah, but it's, it's got to be kept current. Right? Yes, the water, regular water bill has to be kept current. Okay. So we'll start that in February as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. We just want some clarification. We can start in January, actually, I guess. But I think didn't we send out a reminder to everybody that was going to start? Right, but we haven't uh, put penalties on or anything this month, so. Well, that might be why we somebody start in February. <coughs> do you have a number of customers that that um, is? Do not do or estimated you. number. I've sent out, I think, anywhere from. 10 to 16 letters trying to get them to <laughs> start making payments. Start making payments. Some of them have. We've we had yeah. some movement in the last couple yeah. of weeks. Mm -hmm. so. Well, 10 to 16 is not as bad as I thought it might it's, be. Yes, you're exactly right. We just need some clarification. Some of them were pretty high yeah. amounts, too. How many moved off on us? Three that I know of. Some that were about $1,000 have left. 
And that's something we might need to look at. State law does allow that that water bill is a responsibility of the property owner. In fact, we, we've talked to that. Yeah, we're, we're one of the few cities that don't have that. So we may bring that up the next meeting as far as having an ordinance in place for that. Okay. Mike, do you have anything? I have a officer, former officer, uh, has turned in his letter of resignation and said, I would like to inform you of my intention to resign as a police officer at the Beaver Dam Police Department effective two weeks from 1-8-2021. Uh, so that'll be uh, the 22nd of this month will be his last day. That's on Friday. Uh, so I just uh, said, I appreciate the opportunity you gave me here in my tenure at Beaver Dam. And that's Cody Smith. So I guess we need a motion to accept that resignation. So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor signify with that. Uh, and do we need to go ahead and advertise for a what, what was the reason given for what you're doing? Uh, I'd rather, if you okay. don't know, I'd rather tell you about there. Okay. Uh, I'd like to ask the permission from council to, uh, I think we've talked a little bit about the great layer. Uh, check on. But you just want it now, yeah. Just want it now? Yeah. Okay. That'll be the next fiscal year. Okay. Uh, like to uh, have permission to advertise for another officer at this time. So moved. Second. second. We have that motion and second. Any further discussion? Those in favor signify with aye. 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 Opposed, same. Motion passes. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Uh, no, the new vehicle is at Owen Curl. Uh, the striping package is complete. And it's that on-duty depot uh, waiting to get equipment for them. Doesn't really have time. They say probably the next couple weeks. So it's it's at on-duty depot in Owensboro. It's, it's parked inside, so it's safe. Uh, everything else is everything else is good. David, um, a couple months back we talked about the Pima grant for the generator. They asked that we have the tour or the commission vote on a resolution and proceed with the application process for that to the FEMA disaster relief program. They asked that the tour, that the board would pass that resolution and then we would sign and have some paperwork fill out and proceed. So moved. Second. We have a motion to second. Any further discussion? Those in favor signify that. Aye. Opposed same. Motion passes. Hmm? Don't you have something for your other hat? Oh yeah, the we code enforcement part now. In the code enforcement, we have been working with a property on Third Street. Um, we went through the process of the violation, citation, and then issued a final order. Um, they've paid the fine, but it hasn't paid the continuing penalty and hasn't cleaned up the area. Still just left it as it was. Um, so the next step, I guess, is to ask the city if they would file a lien on the property. File a lien against and proceed with them. What's your address? 706 West 3rd. I thought that's the one you're talking about. I said they paid the fine, but they haven't done anything about cleaning it up. And now the fines are still continuing. Yeah, they paid the, they didn't pay the citation the first time it come through. Then the final order was issued, they paid that fine, but it's uh, X amount of dollars plus another X amount per day. And uh, it never was paid and the property wasn't cleaned up. So it didn't satisfy the final order itself. So, okay, so what we just said, we need a motion to approve putting a lien against 709 West 3rd Street? Uh, 706 West 706, 3rd. I'm sorry. Move to put a lien on 706 with a code enforcement. Second. We have a motion to second. Any further discussion? Those in favor saying by that? Uh, okay. same. We fought that property a long time. Yes, we have. We got something done with it. Yes, we have. Did you have another? Okay. Well, I knew you'd talk to me about this one. Yeah, we're here, getting with Garrett, and it's been a little hard to try to track them down and get them to sign it. So our days aren't going to line up. It'll be next month. Okay. It'll be same thing. Mm -hmm. 
Dust, do you have anything? Just a compliment on the ditch behind Shepherd's Church. <coughs> people contact me saying how, how nice it looks. I've got a hold of uh, Larry Craig. Say Mark. Yes. I don't say Craig Larry, but I know. Yes. No. Anyway, he's supposed to come this week to look at the tile before we send a letter to the transportation department uh, that crosses 62. And then we started ditching out in uh, Green Meadows. And you may be getting a call from someone. They weren't very happy because they're afraid they can't mow their ditch anymore. So you may be getting a call. What my sister was it? No, oh. directly behind her. Yeah. Okay, I don't think it's very nice. <laughs> so anyway, we're starting this a division now. Okay. I'm in good shape. Yeah. I've been out of the loop. I kind of don't have anything. I've not been able to do anything. So. Larry? Right. Uh, I don't have a will update yet. Uh, so everything's submitted to the state for their approval. So we're kind of waiting to hear from them. Uh, Bob Cox wanted me to let everybody know that regional wastewater had extended the grant for another six months. So we'll be getting a decrease of our grant for the, the waste that we're sending, which is always helpful. Uh, street light on Bluegrass Drive, I think it's Goldenrod. Uh, Miss McCown, Pat McCown called. They, I guess they bought the house of Beth Wilson, so they're moving down. And she's wanting a street light, a security light there in front of her house. And I told her we didn't do security lights, and the street lights we try to put on intersections to light up all the intersections. And she, she said that she wanted down further closer to her house, and I had told her that, you know, she can get a hold of uh, energy and have a security light put up, but she wanted me to ask to see if, if we would put one down in front of her house. Uh, it, can't, it cannot be put in front of her house because it's got to come off a transformer, which is directly behind her house. The closest that we're going to be able to get is going to be there at the intersection at Bluegrass and Gold Run. I don't know if that's going to suffice for uh, uh, If it's okay, I'll call her tomorrow and tell her what we found out. Uh, and if, if that light suffices her, it's going to be $10.86 a month for the light. They're going to charge us $3.07 a month for the pole. So it's going to be $14.93. Uh, if we go underground, because there's a pool box within 120 feet away. It's going to be $307 for uh, the construction cost. The city will be responsible for digging the conduit, laying the conduit, and it'll be a, a 9,500-watt luminous LED light. If, if she's okay with that, are we good to move on it? I would really like to drive out there when it's dark and see. Do you, um, because I know, you know, we, uh, didn't we talk about this before? We talked about the last one. We was at Goldenrod and Green Meadows Drive. I said that was like four thousand dollars because it's got to come two or three hundred feet behind the houses, conduit easements. Same individual, but different. No, totally different. I think. No, the baby, the baby last one. month he did say she was one when he was going to okay. get the prices. Yeah, this is the step together on what we cost. Yeah. Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah. That's what I thought because I know down at the other end of the road. Or somewhere in that vicinity, there was a fellow that wanted one. Yeah, that was a Bailey. And is that going to. So you that, the cost of that was like four grand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wonder if that would help the Baileys any, so maybe it would, it's not going to benefit them any. No. So you're really talking about putting it at the intersection. If we start doing other well, we're going to open a can of worms. Well, I mean, I don't. We turned other people down before. Because it wasn't, and you know, that's where we wanted to put them. I just don't want to have them come back and say, well, what did you do that for? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying there's not anywhere, done anywhere, but I know some places, Bruce School Road's a prime example, it's got some, there's no intersections on Bruce School right. Road, so it's. And so there's some who have historically been there for right, years but, but you may have there control. may be. I just want to make sure everybody's clarified right. that there may be some streets that just don't have any intersections. Right. Uh, Ridge Crest Drive, for example, from Fourth Street all the way to Seventh Street, there's no. And I don't know if there's any lights out there or not, but you know you've got some places where there's no intersection you have that may have them that's not in the. Well, um, have you been out there at night? I 
Well, it's kind of see if she's going to be happy with it before we proceed to put that money out. And you know, we we have a right away on the road, and we can we can lay the conduit, but we may or may ask the homeowner that we're both going to say that are they okay with it? Because we had an issue out on Cherry Lane one time. They want a street light, and we're the going to say it. The homeowner said absolutely not. Yeah. So, well, so which side of the road is Paul on? It will be on the east side. Okay. Horse Branch side. McGuffin? The Dayland side? House before McGuffin. Oh. I don't know. I, don't. I was going to tell you a little bit. That's the Elba Brown's old house? No. No. This is Sherman. Sherman, Sherman. This Baby. is right across from oh. Ben, ben McCann's house. Oh, I don't know where we're at now. Uh, that's like Sherman. That ain't his name. Used to. Sherman Bailey used to live there. I think he's still there, isn't he? No, he's not. <laughs> no, he's not. No. He we passed away. He passed away. He didn't know if he passed past I think so. I can't swear. It's, it's a Sherman Bailey house. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's where the poem said that. Hmm. That seems like that'd be pretty far from McCallum's. Yeah. See, the, the next the next power pole with the transform one at the David Pool would be directly behind her house. Yeah. And, and he did. He did say, and it's something I can tell her, that they would, they would install pre a security light, and she would just have a, uh, I guess, the usage added on her bill. Yeah. So, but that's not going to help her in front of her house. Just behind. Them. Well, yeah. I check with the, the property owner that it would affect their yard, and then. Let her know where it's going to be and see if it's okay. anything that she would still be interested in. Because just visualizing it, it doesn't seem like it would benefit a whole lot in front of her house. And the last thing I have is Amy came up today that the businesses that receive the grant, their 1099 is going to, I hope I say this right, it's going to be listed on line G which she does not have the capability of putting on without buying extra W1099s. So she contacted Robin, our auditor, and they will issue them for around fifty dollars. So I told Amy just go ahead and so You're good. We have to buy more fifty dollars ten ninety nine. Yeah. She wanna make sure that everybody's okay with that. So. Yeah, can I do a check? Who cares? <laughs> Thank you. So appreciate <laughs> <laughs> And that's all I have. I do need to go into closed session. Just a little bit. Thank you. Closed session. Second. Yeah. Make a motion. We go back in the open session. Second. Does anybody have anything else? Just one thing. Motion to adjourn. Second.